spoiler alert, bad idea. <laughs> TSA goes really smoothly when coronavirus is making everybody not fly. Empty airport. Air should not be bumpy. Oh my gosh, that was the worst flight ever. Good morning, good morning vlog. It's Saturday, which means we are going home today. Woohoo! Well, things were, I think I last talked at you on Wednesday maybe and then Wednesday was like not such a great day and I was just kind of like not feeling great and laying on the couch and like like all day and then Wednesday night I was kind of better maybe at least I was talking and walking around and kind of just me and then Thursday was okay-ish again I was like super nauseous and wasn't really eating but then I ended up forcing all the food in and feeling super 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 sick and <laughs> then yesterday happened so yesterday I woke up and then <laughs> I don't know what's happening over there um, but I woke up and then I was not feeling great, so then I was like, I have an idea. I'm going to take a shower. Spoiler alert, bad idea. Because the shower was warm, so then I, it like relaxed all of my muscles. So then I was even more hurting than I was before I got in the shower. And I was laying on the bed and I was like moving around my head because I could tell that my head was the problem. Well, fast forward, like half an hour, Wes is trying to give me pain meds and I'm just crying and I couldn't move and I couldn't slash wouldn't swallow the pain meds because swallowing sent like 10 out of 10 pain through my entire head and being. And then, so since that doesn't really work out with, you know, life and doing things, we had to go to the hospital again. And so we get there and the moany groany mess that was me was there and they called Dr. Henderson down because he was there. He looked at my imaging, the same imaging that I had done like two weeks ago, but he looked at it again and it's still, I mean, nothing changed because it was the same imaging. So, so, Still was all um, subluxations and all the things all through it, and we're hoping that it, like the hope is that in ten years my neck just like gets stiffer. But you know, in the meantime, for the ten years, <laughs> you really hope that what happens yesterday does not continue to happen, because they were pretty sure that there was just like a duck subluxation that was pinching things and hurting things because after he like examined my neck and everything which he did that by pushing on it and the it, the, the bottom of my neck I was like, mostly okay with and then it was like oh well, that was fine it was like a six or seven and as he gets up higher I was playing <laughs> and Luckily, pain brain makes my reflexes slow, or I would have taken out his knees. So, he, I don't know, we had to x-ray that to make sure that there wasn't, like, a serious problem back there. Because I also informed him of my fall on Wednesday, which wasn't a very bad fall or anything. I just kind of, like fell and slid across the floor for about 10 feet which like how did I get that much momentum because I don't move quickly I don't know but it wasn't like a hit my head on the floor type fall so I thought it was fine but then he was kind of concerned about that too anyways long story short I ended up popping my head and then it felt a lot better and then lots of pain meds and then we came back here and now we're going home and hopefully we won't have to come back to Maryland for a very very long time because I'm not a biggest fan of traveling 
I like the idea of traveling. I don't actually like to travel. And I also don't really like being in the middle of like a forest like we are here. Because it makes me feel claustrophobic because I can't see a million miles ahead of me like I can at home. Because it's flat and there's no trees. Well, short trees. <coughs> well, anyways, we are going. Goodbye, Marilyn. Although I'll probably film again in the airports. Bye. Never mind, I'm still sitting in the window. <laughs> and remembered that... I should talk about how the neck feels today. It feels somewhat better. Like, it feels a lot better than it did yesterday in the morning. But now my neck feels like a sprained ankle, but in my head or in my neck. So that's kind of a really uncomfortable feeling. And anytime I move, I feel like a very, very, very creaky door. But hopefully that will get better with time too. Maybe? In the meantime, we're just trying to strengthen and manage the pain. We're leaving. Goodbye, hotel room. Goodbye, creepy hallway. Oh my gosh, did I ever show this? Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> I don't know how to do creepy music, but I do, do know sad music. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. We're going to the lobby to get picked up by the limo guy maybe it'll be the same guy because i actually don't mind that guy that much even though he wears like way too much cologne holy moly did i even the say about that the driver i think it was the driver oh well either way la when we got picked up from the airport on our way to here the whoever was somebody was wearing way too much cologne it was hurting everything but it was okay because i was not allergic to that surprisingly we are in one elevator into the the uh, <coughs> land of many elevators aka dulles which is still not my favorite airport of all of the planet but anyways tsa goes really smoothly when coronavirus is making everybody not fly because there's like 20 people working at TSA and zero of them have people to deal with. So when and we have- nice and so when, And they're joking around. They're not grumpy. And the, so, uh, oh. oh. Excuse me. We almost crashed into those people. Oh, oh, nope, you can't see. It's, I'm kind of cold in this airport, but like also not. And but the traffic was great on the way here. There was no traffic at all. Yeah, take, take a picture or a oh. roundabout view of this. There's nobody out there. There's nobody here. Empty airport. I could start yelling, hello, and nobody would hear me except for that guy. <laughs> Elevator three. I don't know why I'm so happy to be in an elevator because I don't like elevators or planes because air should not be bumpy everyone i keep saying that and people think it's funny and i'm like no it's not because the air is bumpy when you're in the plane it seriously looks like we're in an apocalypse because it should be like a really busy flying time because it's the middle of the day there's nobody hopefully there'll be nobody on our plane so then you know less people less germs just less problems in general. Anyways, elevator four. Guess what? Elevator five. And there's like no people in the airport. So it's kind of weird because it kind of feels like we're in like a zombie apocalypse maybe. Although I don't really know what that would feel like because I've never experienced one of those either, but I kind of just feel like in a zombie movie or something, I'm about to have my brain eaten because there's no people around. We are not the only ones at the airport now. It's so busy. <laughs> Here's all the people. I'm even behind me.
we're in LA and I'm whispering well probably not actually whispering that quietly but we made it and I survived the bumpy air I hate flying you guys like I guess I don't hate it and like that I dread it I just don't enjoy actually doing it similarly to I don't enjoy traveling even though I like the idea of it I guess it's kind of the same thing. But anyways, the air was super bumpy, turbulence. As Taylor says, how dare the hot and cold air mix. And we're in LA waiting. Our flight is in a few hours. Like It would be only an hour longer for us to drive from here home. But do we really want to do that? <laughs> no. And is our car here? No. So we're, we're we have like two or more hours I think until boarding for our next at all times. for our flight home. Any and then we're home. To confiscation. And my back and my Any head in that plane were hurting. But I mean, what did I expect or was going to happen? Because I'm kind of just sitting in a confined space, trying to not annoy the people around me and mess with the windows a million times but I at one I did leave the window open which was letting in like 800 degrees of heat because I was sweating but I didn't know if that was just me because you know hot flashes <laughs> or if it was actually hot and then I touched the window and I was like oops so then I closed it and it got like a million degrees cooler and then I forget about like the whole not bending of my head very easily and I think that I can lean forward and grab something and then I go right into the chair in front of me like <laughs> every time. Hopefully I'll learn one day. And I was gonna too much information you but I realized that that would be too much information so I'm not gonna say that. I must say travel well, <coughs> traveling during this like coronavirus pandemic or whatever where everybody is like oh my gosh I'm gonna get sick you know it makes me, it makes me feel a lot less awkward because I'm not the only person sporting a mask I mean most people are <laughs> sporting <laughs> hey he's he's coughing on me and laughing but he's not sick it's just his normal cough because you know I think it's allergies He's also the chronic illness life, but different, but the same, but different. Oh my gosh, do you see what I see? Look at them. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I would say they're fluffy, but those aren't fluffy dogs. They're just cute dogs. I want to touch them, but I also don't. Hi, doggies. morning good morning it's sunday and the vlog abruptly ended <laughs> mid-flight because that was a horrible flight so we still don't really know what happened but today is the next day and i'm feeling fine i was actually feeling a lot better after we landed so we took off and it was all good and we were climbing altitude and I was videoing out the window and taking pictures. I actually was videoing like a little bit into my screaming. <laughs> I will not include the sound. I don't know if I even got the sound of that I was making. I Oh gosh, I don't know if I even, I think I might just delete that clip because I don't want to relive that. But so we were climbing altitude and all of a sudden I was in screaming pain, like legit just, it was horrible. It was worse than the day before the pain. And I was like violently nauseous. So I was like gagging and retching and like in the, the amount of slobber. And it was just like all me in the mask and hot mess. We don't know what happened. And so we were climbing altitude and I'm suddenly screaming. Wes is like digging through the upper, the, what do you call those things? The, the box thing above the heads. 
that where everybody's backpacks go because we were on a little plane so there is no overhead for the luggage so all the luggage is in down below but anyways he was up there and like the seatbelt sign still on but everybody understands why he's standing up at this point and flinging things out of the top trying to get meds to for me but no, nothing really helped he ended up giving me like four or five different things nothing helped I was just crying 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 the tears are streaming out and I'm just like Aah! but probably louder and then he's holding my head against the wall just so that I'm still because the moving was making it worse and luckily we had no turbulence or at least that I know of because I couldn't really see and we don't we still we have no clue what happened we and then we landed and we had the world's smoothest landing and we landed and we're t we're taxing around on the what do you call that the runway for a really long time and but as soon as we landed like I stopped gagging and I was like oh this is interesting and then taxing around taxing around I'm still like crying in a hot mess but by the time we get to the jet bridge and they get the jet bridge attached to the plane because we didn't have to deplane on a ramp yes I hate deplaning on a ramp and that's like such a struggle and they were gonna have to wheelchair me down as I'm a hot mess and crying and gagging and all the things and so we then we got off and because we were on the little plane, everybody has to wait in the jet bridge for their luggage. Mm. The entire plane is staring at me. I was probably like white as a ghost. I was gagging still and I had, I, I don't know why, but I decided to lean on the wall like this, with, literally with my arm like this. Everybody said that, that that's gross, but I was like, I couldn't do anything else because I couldn't sit down because I would not have been able to get up and I couldn't like lean on the wall because the wall is one of those like moving walls so that wouldn't have worked either so I was just leaning on the wall and just trying to not throw up or faint and then got my wheelchair out there and I'm finally like coming around so that I can see and kind of talk a bit better but then we're rolling down the hallway and we went down the elevator and then rolling down the hallway the with the rhino and everything and I still look awful and the fam is all like ah, waving at the end of the hallway and we kind of like still just kind of staring and then we went to look baggage claim and then I was finally coming around I was talking and I was like oh my gosh that was the worst flight ever and like let's talk to the pilots and everything because this this flight actually happened to be a like a transport flight of a bunch of flight crews so pretty much all like half of the other passengers were flight crew members so pilots flight attendants I don't know what the other people are called, like captains and all those things. Well, anyways, there was a whole bunch of them on the plane. And so, like, he was talking to them afterwards and he was like, does this type of plane hold pressure as well as a, like, a, the Boeing, I think we did, were on a 737 before that. And they were like, yeah, they should. They, all, all the cabin pressures go up to 5,000 feet, but they should all hold there and this one we didn't have any problems and we were like well something happened in the altitude or something because like we are assuming that it was altitude that caused the problem because I was I was getting sicker and sicker and sicker and then it was horrible worst 23 minutes of my life and then we came back down and then suddenly I was starting to do better and I've been not that sick ever since luckily <laughs> i need to add one of those sorts of words like yet luckily because uh, the day you don't add that you're gonna have a problem and so and sharon's fam came over well sharon scott and taylor came over alex and his friends are home from college because corona and nolan is off of school because corona other than that like everything was good we and the first flight luckily was really good i was 
vlogging and I was uh, making a zebra and everything was fine and then the second flight happened and I hope to never have a flight happen like that again. Oh, I already posted the post like about what happened yesterday on Instagram. People are like, it sounds like they were having a pressure problem and I was like, I don't know. It was just bad. So hopefully I never have to have a flight that is that bad again. Well, I hope, like I hate flying you guys. And so I'm like, really, I'm like, I hope I never have to fly again. But if we're being completely honest, I'm going to have to fly at some point. So hopefully just, Maybe little planes aren't my friend. Maybe? I don't know. So, anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow because I think I'm going to spend the rest of the day in hibernation because my body is tired. We were f traveling for a long time. <laughs> Bye!